What is up everyone? It's your boy Mousy coming back at you with another Spectrum series episode. This week we are featuring well one of my recently favorite Terran players. It's a Masses player and that's something big for myself. Uh, if you know you know, if you don't you don't. I'm not too big of a fan of Terrans in general but this player caught my attention from the very first time we played together and Plays really standard, but really fun to uh, to see, watch, and, and cast it. So, yeah, let's see how this game pans out. It's going to be a Terran versus Protoss game on 2000 Atmospheres. And right away, starting in the top right corner, it's going to be our Red Terran, our boy Silence Bomb. And his opponent, starting with two gateways already in the bottom left. Our blue Protoss is going to be DC Trades. Alright. Oh, a SCV probe. Battle is going down and the SCV is going to go down, I believe. Yep, the final zap. And that one goes down. But it's going to get avenged, I think. Yep, <laughs> that probe goes down as well. Wow, we're not even two minutes into the game. And we already have... A lot, a lot of action going down. We see a reactor before any unit on the side of Silence Bomb. Orbital Command is going to go and uh, be upgraded. It's going to finish up as we speak. So I expect a mule to go down. Yep, there's a mule. And we have a reactor expand on the side of Silence Bomb. I'm really curious, uh, was this scouted? Silence Bomb uh, scouted both gateways. And now we see two Stalkers chronoed out. These two Stalkers are going to be super crucial. At least in my opinion, since you blow pretty much all your early game economy on these two units to get them out as fast as possible, rather than getting them out one by one. And there's the Nexus already. So that's a double gate expand. It looks honestly like a, a PvP, but a weird one. Single gas PvP. There's a shield battery in case of a Reaper. And I'm curious if these stalkers are going to do any damage. There's a bunker on the side of the Silence Bomb. But this bunker is actually positioned a bit awkwardly. Uh, there's a lot of space over here on this side. These stalkers could go all the way. Well, but the stalkers are approaching on the wrong side and one of them is losing the shield. Speaking of perfectly, well, this is uh, the furthest away from perfect, I believe. And what the ring goes down, that's great for DC trays, but will he be able to do more? Ooh, messes up the stutter step on the stalkers, which means... Oh, and the target fire as well. One more marine goes down. And I'm really curious if he can get any reasonable damage. Oh, the mule barely survives. And we'll see one more marine go down. So, three marines go down on the side of Silence Bomb. So, that's 150 minerals wasted. Well, I believe this trade was favorable because of this guy surviving. It's going to work for the full duration. And we already see... Ooh, hello there. May I click on you? Thank you very much. Good old Dark Shrine goes down. And we see the Robo being started as well. Warping it as we speak. And a third gas. So this is going to be potentially a DT drop, I believe. What's this? Oh, we have a little Probu stray on the map. Is this going to be a scout? Nope, this is not a scout. This is going to be a forward pylon, I believe. For the DTs. We see Widow Mines. Oh, this is going to be a classic Widow Mine drop. I like this. Uh, pretty standard play from Silence Bomb. Three Widow Mines picked up on the Medivac. And the Medivac boosts uh, outside already. It's, it's already outside. If I could manage to speak somewhat uh, decently. Okay, so there's a stray tech lab over here. Which I believe it's going to be for barracks... Either two or three. Oh, but look at this. We're gonna have tanks, I suppose. Uh, Alright, so... I guess... And reactor is being constructed on the starboard. And the reactor is going to be constructed on the, the factory as well. So this is going to be for 
or steam and i uh, think the widow mines drop instantly kills two of them the other widow mine gets taken out by dt's guardian shield wasted i have no re no knowledge why and another probe goes down so total of three probes and a lot of lost mining time plus a stalker warp in which is not bad for silence bomb and of course the, the scout had the reveal of the tech from uh, dc trace Ooh, okay and silence bomb scouts the pylon as well so he's aware that there's a forward pylon outside of his natural right at the ramp so we don't mind drop you could say it didn't do too much but actually it did a lot since it scouted this war prism and the dts and actually made, killed three probes and made a lot of uh, lost mining time and the wasted guardian shield the dts come in they take out a few marines there's the scan and we will see the dts go down Ooh, the war prism almost goes down oh what what what, what happened over here oh no the war prism goes down for no reason honestly that could be game ending to be honest like that was a huge investment from dc trace third nexus is on the way halfway done already i don't think this is what dc trace planned Robo Bay goes down as well as another gate, so we have four gateways in total. We have a Robo, a Robo Bay, a Dark Shrine, and a third base on the way. Scan is being thrown. Oh, hold on, there was a DT doing some damage. Yep, a couple more Marines went down. And now this DT is dangerously close. It's going to try to chip away some dudes, but it doesn't have blink. Gets an SCV, gets a Marine. Oh, and the DT goes down as well as a Pylon. Actually doesn't get, gets two SCVs, so. Not exactly what you want. And look at that, there's three, three SCVs. Wonder if that's going to be for repairs, which is going to be weird. But I think it's going to be for turret construction, right? I mean, what else? You don't really want to repair Widow Mines. Maybe Medivax. Okay, this DT is going to scout the timing of the army. And this is rather scary. He goes forward without any shield battery protection and instantly a few units go down. This is not how you want to fight, my friend. This is rather dangerous. Silence Bomb with a commanding army supply lead. 29 army supply lead on the side of Silence Bomb. Almost 30. <laughs> it's 30 already as we speak. One pylon goes down, and shield battery overcharge is forced. And we see guardian shield popped as well. And the first colossus is out. This could mean the uh, the hold. There's already plus one attack, uh, combat shield, and stim. Didn't finish my sentence uh, last time due to the widow mind drop. But yeah, both stim and combat shield were researched. And now the, the Colossus is already almost killed. Oh my goodness, that's a really, really low health Colossus. Is this in range? Yep, that's in range already. Okay, this Widow Mine gets taken down. And the Marines are marching forward, taking down this gateway. Turret is actually helping out a lot. It makes it uh, rather hard for DC Trace to to engage into this position. If DC Trace could hold, he has. Ooh, the Colossus goes down. I wanted to say he has decent economy, but that economy was represented by the Colossus. Actually, not just the Colossus. He has uh, a pretty decent amount of minerals and gas. But the gateway goes down, so there's only three three gateways remain. And a couple of zealots were were taken out as they warped in. Ooh, and this shield battery is going to mean a lot. But shield battery overcharge was used. Uh, it has a sliver of energy over here. But if this pylon gets taken out, it's going to be unpowered. Remember, there's no extended thermal lance. Ooh, the Colossus uh, barely gets alive. Gets out alive. 
And the Immortal and the Colossus are the real sophistication of this army. The Colossus goes down. Another one pops, but the Immortal goes down. Another Stalker goes down and another one. And the Colossus is being chased. The starter step is perfect from Silence Bomb. And this is going to be it, I think. Yep, GG's called. Silence Bomb with a quick one-two punch takes out DC Trace and takes the win on 2000 Atmospheres in this CVP. GG's to Silence Bomb, first of all. And, yeah, buddy, thanks for submitting this uh, really, really awesome TVP. I really enjoyed uh, casting it. So, guys, if you want to see more of Silence Bomb, leave a comment and let me know about it. I'm pretty sure we can squeeze out a couple more replays of him during the Season 1 of Spectrum series. It's just going to be longer. And that's going to be it from my channel and why I'm saying it like this. If everything goes right, there's going to be another episode, a special one featuring a CSO player on the CSO YouTube channel. And as we speak of CSO, I would like to shout them out. And I would like to thank them for supporting my content, supporting me as a player, content creator, and a person. As always, much love to you all. And thanks for being here for me. As for myself, I was Mousy. This was Spectrum series. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.